out and welcome back to Get Sky Game, and we're back with another Haikyuu reaction commentary. We're getting near the end of season two. There's only three episodes left, so something's got to happen. This game with Obi Joe has been going on forever. I think we're going into extra set or something. So I'm keen to see what happens. What the hell happens next? What's going to happen in season two? Where do we end? It doesn't look like they're going to win based on the trajectory of the season. But I don't want to read too much into that. So let's hope and see what happens here with the boys. With Obai Josai. So let's get to it. Okay, the coach is telling them we can't do anything about number 10. Even though they were digging him. So you could do something about him. And you got to get good serves. Like they did last set. That's how they won the last set. Is better serving against Grasna. Okay. You guys saying pass up well. Just dig it up. Bye. Yep, keep the rally going. Yes, sir. Okay, so... Takana is calling them their arch enemy, and you guys are going to win? I mean, I'm hyped. Let's go, Takana. Hands in, boys. Absolutely. Hands in. Karasuno, fight. Yes! Okay, everyone's watching. we got the folks in the stand still. I feel like we've been in this same game for 10 years. Okay, oh boy, Josai sides out the first ball after the serve from Asai. Mad Dog passed it well. Nice pass, Asai. You got it up. That's all you need to do. That's what Coach said. Just keep it alive when Oika was serving. Oh, it's an overpass, and he pounds it down straight down, though. Okay, you can't overpass it. So, when we keep track of passing stats in volleyball when you're playing, you often keep track of it on a three- or four-point scale, judging by how good the quality of the pass is. Three is a perfect pass, and a zero is giving up an ace. So, yeah, if you just keep it alive with a one or two pass, that's good. But if you shank it and give up an ace, that's a zero. What else is counted as a zero is an overpass. Because that's just a free point to the other team. It's basically a zero pass. And if it's an overpass tight to the net, they're going to pound it down like that. It's basically free points. So you cannot do that. Keep it up on your side. Nice up, Daichi. Is it on our side, though? The crowd's hype about it. Over to Tanaka, who pounds it off the... Yeah, nice tool on Mad Dog. Nice. Let him know. Let's go, buddy. Okay, it's 2-1. It's early. Let's go, Tsuki. Pop it in there. You need a better serve, though, buddy. That's a weak serve right at the libero. Unacceptable. Right side to Mad Dog, who tools Tanaka right back. He got tooled, he tools him right back. Okay, so it's a nice little summary from Yukai there, who actually is showing some knowledge of a coach, but he hasn't done much coaching, Yukai, so step it up. But he identifies that, okay, they got their three-headed monster, basically. They got their ace, who's got power and technique, which we've seen. He hits the pipe, he scores well, he passes well, he does a lot. He's their best player. Right? And then they've got Mad Dog, who's just got some power and he's a bit of a decoy. They run him fast, they do all sorts of stuff. He's new. And they've got Oiko, who's starting to hit his serve. He's got the dump. He runs the offense. So they got to be able to counter those three. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to win, which is kind of, I mean, three out of six players on the other team. It's a lot to counter. So, I mean, their challenge is high. Okay, we're, okay, we skipped ahead a bunch of points. It's 7 6. It's a close set. I think we played a 25 here. I'm not sure, but I think we do. Whoa! Just ripped a crazy ace with a curve, sir. That was awesome. They're hype. Do it again, Asai. Okay, he passed it up well that time. Damn it. What happened to the curve, buddy? Oh, nice middle to Onion Head. How do we not have to counter Onion Head? Like, we've got to counter the other three, and Onion Head comes back with a point. All right. Boyko is serving again. He takes a floor up. Oh, net flipper off the tape. Where's it going? Is it a free ball? It just off the tape free ball because it was so hard. Back quick to Suki, but they dig it up. No, oh, nice get Tanaka. Got him on the right side. Let's go. Or was it Suki? It looked like Tanaka to me. Oh, Suki and Tanaka switch. Okay, so that's why I look. Okay, that's that's okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, that like on a on a scramble play to have the middle go around and switch places with the left side on the fly like that is just something that really doesn't really ever happen. It's, it's a lot of effort and very difficult to then line yourselves up fast enough while the ball's in the air. To do it before the rally, like to switch places like b between the rally or like while there's a break in play while you're putting over a free ball or something, that is something you could do, but not right before there. I like the strategy though. If he's hitting it line all the time, Put the big blocker over there, Suki, and have him get a block, and so he doesn't tool Tanaka. So it's a good idea, but the, when they switch, I don't think is accurate. If they had switched when it was like, oh, we got to give over free ball. Hey, switch now. That would have made more sense. Oh, so this guy's explaining that Tanaka and Mad Dog were going head to head because they're lined up against each other. But then Suki figured it out and was like, hey, let me get over there and get a block on this guy. 
Okay, Suki's back to serve now, though. His weak standing foot. He serves at Libero every time. Serve somewhere else, Suki. Oh, he leaves it out. Suki left it. Was it out? Don't know. Okay, yes, it was out. Nice. Oh, they're saying they push his buttons a little bit by blocking him. Get him a little bit shook. Oh, he's saying that's just Tanaka's nature. Tanaka's a tough guy. And in volleyball, you gotta be tough like that. Hey, yes, let's keep the pressure on. Oh, he takes a timeout. Okay, they're flashing back to Mad Dog as a kid. And how he idolized volleyball and wanted to play and went to practice with adults and did a lot of work. But he's got an attitude. Oh, the guy from the flashback is there watching. Is that his dad or something? Or just a friend? Or I don't know. Another serve right into the barrel. Stop that. Oh, he hits it right into the net. Oh, he's folding up completely. Also, yeah, can we just talk about that timeout? Okay? What a weird time for the coach to take a timeout. They were up 8-7. Krasno sides out. Like, scores one point. Uh, and gets to 8-all. Then they get a block. One block, and then he calls a timeout. Like, what? Is that... Or, and then the guy hits it out of bounds? Like, you give up two points in a row, and you call a timeout because you need to panic? Like, what the heck? Normally, you want to call a timeout after a longer run, or when you're not within still one point, like it's still early in the game, you want to save those for later. So, confusing timeout there from Coach. Oh, he's getting subbed out. He's getting subbed out by Coach number 13. Does not look happy to come in. You need to calm down if you want to get back on the court. I mean, okay. So he's having a bit of a temper tantrum and he subs him out. Oh, he's just pissed. Like, what a terrible teammate right now. Oh, he says, like I care, shut up. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. You're a terrible teammate, Mad Dog. Oh, and this other guy's just reaming into him. Okay, this guy on the bench is saying, hey, you came back after you were an asshole and left. And then you got to play right away in a big game? I'm bitter because I've been here the whole time and I haven't gotten a chance to play, yet you're putting on a, a temper tantrum because you're coming off because you had to deal with all this crap. I didn't get a chance to play, so what the hell's wrong with you? Which, I love that comment from this guy. That's absolutely true. Oh, he shoves him against the wall. If you ruin this for our seniors, he'll never forgive you. Yes, love the intensity from this guy. Let him know. Firm hand. What are you gonna do, Mad Dog? Oh, you guys respects the strength. Oh, great get, Tanaka. Yes, nice pound, buddy. Kagiyama reads the tip, Tanaka pounds it down. Absolutely. Kagiyama saw the tip coming in from the new substitution in. Oh, and he's coming back in. That's it? That's all they needed? A short break? I guess, just, get, just go to get yelled at, then come back in? Oh, this is a flashback to him before he hit the crazy hair. Okay, Tanaka, you gotta get a better serve going too. You gotta work on a jump serve or something, buddy. That's a weak float. Of course, they go right to Mad Dog on his first point in there. They gotta read that that they're gonna go to him. So, Mad Dog's getting a lecture from this guy who he's been practicing with, this old guy. He's flashing back to him. And he gets it. Oh, man. That's a sharp pound by Mad Dog. Oh, he's there smiling. He's jealous because they got a great team and that guy's a lone wolf practicing with adults. And now he teaches the young lone wolf how to work with the team. He flashes back. Krasno's still up though. Okay, he rips the serve, passes it well. Hinata who gets dug by the libero. Hinata's really struggled and they pound it back down. Hinata has struggled to score this match. They've been digging him well. Nice pass again on him. They go back to Hinata again and they dig him again. They keep going to Hinata. Oh, it's an overpass. Oh, and Asai pounds it down. Okay, nice. So Hinata at least got the overpass. Oh, we changed sides at 13. Yes, okay, we do. Yeah, Kageyama's thinking he's got to use Hinata better because he can't just have him getting dug like that. Okay, it's 15 all. I mean, in high school volleyball, it is definitely the case that if you have somebody with a bang and serve and steps back, you know, they can go on huge runs. And every time it's scary when you see them step back and the other team is almost like, okay, yeah, let's dig in and dig this up. Okay, he goes for a pound. Nice up, Daishi, I think. Hard to say. Oh, it's just a free ball. Okay, they just free ball it over. Okay, so they go step around, shoot to onion head knee pounds and they flash back to when they worked on that. 
So, I mean, that was a huge pound. So that guy used to be Kagama's teammate. He's gotten better. You guys just said this is even close to the strength of our team. I have no idea what he means by that. We're in a freaking fight. Okay, overpass. Tight again. Joust. Nice, Suki. Way to go up and beat Onion Head in the Joust. Let him know. Flax, hit the gym, bud. <laughs> he just comes and he says, hey. With me, you're invincible. And Kamen goes, yeah, you, you keep digging me. They keep digging you. Like, how are we? This isn't working. Hey, Tsuki, need, you need... Karasuno serving is very weak. Very weak overall. Okay. Touch off the block. From Tanaka. Free ball to Daichi. Passes it up. What are they going to do with Hinata here? Because he keeps getting dug. Are you kidding me? Since when do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> what? What the, what the hell? Oh, come on! Come on! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. What a, what a weird end to that episode. Gosh. Okay, so Hinata goes like he's going a front quick. Jumps from there. And just jumps into the back quick position. And Kagama fires it to him tight. And he just, he just snaps it straight down. Then they frame it there, like with the poster. They like just frame it and just pause there. Like, oh, look at this. <laughs> oh gosh, what an ending to that episode. Okay, so we really though we saw a bunch of flashbacks. We learned a bunch about Mad Dog. We learned about the Oh by Josai team. We didn't see a much much from Karasuno there. We saw one block from Suki. Wasn't a volleyball heavy episode. Yet we're somehow late into this third set. We switched sides already. We've seen some serve, but really nothing's happened because it's a tie game. So really, next episode, we'll look to, for the stakes to ramp up and see some actual volleyball plays happen. So we'll see how that goes. That'll do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you next time on Hits Guy Gaming.